Hello there. So in today's episode, I want to show you guys how to make these adorable, cute, sweet little origami stars. So whenever we go on holidays, I always like to take a crafty project. If it's a local holiday, I'll take a paint by number kit with me and I'll sit down with my mum and do that. When I was younger, I always used to uh, knit socks. I was thinking about knitting socks again and I thought, they, they take forever. And so one night I was mindlessly scrolling on AliExpress. Oh my goodness, how cute are these? Oh, I can do that. Alice can do that. And it's so cheap. I have to have them. Take my money. It wasn't until afterwards that I'd actually clicked order that I realised I could probably have cut all of this paper myself. But as it turns out, it was actually really convenient ordering it ready cut. Um, the papers were uh, are really cute. Come over to my desk and I'll show you what I got. So I bought three different types of paper to do the stars. I bought one packet of these Totoro papers so they're all joined together at this end. Those ones are slightly wider than the others and they make stars that look like this. The next type I got were these plain plain coloured ones. So these are are just they're not patterned they are just plain rainbow color just beautiful bright colors so you could easily cut those yourself if you didn't want to buy pre-cut ones i'll give you the measurements in a minute that they are and you could easy if you had a paper trimmer you know that you use for scrapbooking or something you could easily just cut those up um, quite quickly i mean you don't have to use a paper trimmer you could just cut regular craft paper with the scissors but i think a paper trimmer would probably make it quicker they make stars like this rainbow colored paper stars. The last type I got, and I think this is my favorite, is this really shiny, shimmery, um, metallic paper. And that, it's just really cute. And it makes stars like this. such a great little travel craft. We folded stars while we were waiting in line for rides at Legoland. We folded stars on the Shinkansen while we were heading off to a new city. We folded stars while we were waiting in cafes. We folded stars while we were driving in the car to head out for the day. I'm starting to sound like a Dr. Seuss book. We folded stars in the car, we folded stars on the train. We folded stars here, we folded stars there. We folded stars everywhere. So, this is how you do it. With one piece of paper, coloured side up, you're going to make a knot out of the paper at one end. So I'm just going to slowly twist that around, that end around to make a knot and the big end is going to go through the loop. So that you start to make a knot. I'm going to turn it over just so that it's a bit easier for me and you just shuffle that little knot around, give it a little rub until the point at the top is nice and neat and you've got no gaps here either. I can turn it over just to double check no big gaps and that top little point is nice and tight. You've got one little loose end. You just want to fold that so that it's sitting nice along this bottom edge. Pop it inside that fold so that it's nice and flat. This long tail is going to wrap around the pentagon shape and those points form the points of your star. So the first wrap is going to want to go that way. The second wrap is going to kind of go upwards 
keeping that edge there. Each time it folds, it tends to want to align itself with one of the sides. And you just keep going, keeping it nice and firm so it doesn't get too loose. You can keep flipping the little star. And, oh my goodness, I'm so lucky. Every time I do this, usually the last little tail is a tiny bit too long to put inside the fold or a tiny bit too short. However, for this demonstration, it is the perfect length to flip inside there. Okay, so that goes in there. And then, now, we just want to puff it up with a fingernail, push in, You can use a thumbnail. There's me using a thumbnail. Or a fingernail. This bit takes is what takes a little bit of practice. It took me a little while to work out how to softly hold the star so that it puffed up when you push the corners up. Another tip, when you're folding your little star and wrapping it around, don't push those folds down really, really hard. If you push them down really hard, they don't want to go in and separate again and puff up. They kind of, it just kind of wants to flatten. Then I go around and just pinch the little corners. Hey, one cute little paper star. And you can just keep going and going and going. And you can make hundreds. We are just filling up a jar. You could get a needle and thread, a piece of silver or gold uh, embroidery thread with a needle and you could make metres and metres of these uh, to be like a Christmas garland or a really pretty little star garland around a room would look really, really sweet. You could write little messages on the inside and give them to people as gifts. Um, if you come up with any other ideas, let me know because... We're loving this. <laughs> There's a place that I call home Where the oak trees grow Where the moonlight glows But I wish that I was somewhere else Where the sound of city lights Keeps me company at night Personality Smiling from inside the window screen And she's opening the door to me Just a stranger but I'll take it I'm alone and feeling shameless Maybe we can go When our work gets slow We can take a ride the other side of town Life gets so complicated The pictures that you take Keep our memory in place and I wish that I'd settle for all this and Sometimes I need a fix to take its place Let's get away Thank you! Oh, I think I Two, we can three. drive past all the good. snow South of Mount Oh, you're so good Where we can <laughs> shake these clothes And breathe again Hold on, hold on And someday we will return Find a place to call our own Build the walls around our home Where we can rest these bones in my arms you can reach you In our love we can believe you Maybe we can be Just two kids set free I can pass the time Looking into your eyes Life gets so complicated The pictures I cheated Keep our memory in place And 
I wish that I'd settle for all this But sometimes I need a fix to take its place Let's get away Let's get away I'm going to show you again looping it around my finger keeping it close to one edge long tail goes under to form a knot shuffle shuffle with that knot pull the little short tail pull the long tail so that I've closed the gap this little flap you can tuck it in and begin to wrap after a while I find that I don't wrap the tail so much I find it easier now to hold the tail and flip the star he flips one way he flips the other way he flips one way he flips the other way and so here's a really good example too short to go around again but too long to tuck in you can either cut it off so that it sits about halfway However, when I'm traveling, I found that, that having a little pocket full of torn off edges was really annoying. So I just fold it under now. I fold it a little bit so it's a bit shorter. Tuck it in. Don't push those side folds down really hard. Otherwise, they don't want to come up again when you puff. So just keep those quite loosely folded. Don't squish them down too hard. So sweet, so cute. Let me know how you go guys. If anybody starts making them, let me know. I think I might need to start an Instagram account because lots of people comment and say that they have done something that I'm working on at the same time and I would really love to see. And you can't attach photos to YouTube comments. So if you'd like me to start an Instagram account for, for anybody who's following along, let me know. I think I might do that. It is so cute. Now because they are only paper they can get damaged when you're out and about. So I used one of these um, little plastic eggs that come inside the Kinder Surprise uh, chocolates uh, and we would just fold them all day and, and put them inside one of these. Um, you could use any kind of little light plastic container to keep them safe while you're traveling um, you could put them in a little drink bottle or or whatever you like that was just really easy and small for me to stick in my handbag the papers that i have are exactly one centimeter wide which is three eighths of an inch and about 23 24 centimeters long which is what 24 centimeters nine and a half inches long one centimeter wide or three eighths of an inch so you could easily cut this from any paper you like I think if you used very thick scrapbooking paper they wouldn't fold and twist as easily so keep it light I will put links to all the ones that I got they were from Aliexpress and Amazon and I will uh, put links below to those in case anyone's interested and that's it guys that is all I have today so if anybody has made any stars uh, write below and let me know I would love to hear what you guys have done with them uh, let me know if you'd like me to start an Instagram account so that we can share some photos and I will see you next time thanks guys bye